We hope you like She Can Do. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everybody, it's Vivian. She Can Do Lucy. Today we're going to do She Can Do Lucy. What on earth does She Can Do Lucy mean? Well, I have a friend named Lucy and randomly, you know, things come up in my feed and she posted a little vegan chocolate chip muffin recipe and it looked easy enough and I scanned the list of ingredients and I thought, I think I have all that. Inevitably, when I go to make a recipe, I'm probably missing one or two ingredients, but that's okay. I always make do and usually along the way, I kind of substitute stuff. So these are vegan chocolate chip muffins and I'll post her original recipe later on in this video, but it was basically, basically chocolate protein powder, peanut butter, applesauce, some baking powder, totally vegan. So I thought, well, I've made muffins before, but I had some eggs that I wanted to use. And I, and I purposely put the peanut butter in the background there. As much as I did have peanut butter, I had some other butters that I wanted to use, like almond butter and pistachio Yum. butter. And because, as I found out, I was missing one ingredient, the chocolate protein powder, which I typically have, I have vanilla protein powder. So I thought the vanilla and the pistachio would taste amazing together. We're gonna to do a taste test at the end of this video too. But for right now, what I did is I also decided to use some eggs, but I also decided to use a chia egg and a flax egg. A what? Yes, a chia egg and a flax egg. That's a chia seed and flax seed egg. So these items or these products or these seeds they're both seeds flax seeds these seeds are mucilaginous what does that mean have a mucilaginous quality say that 10 times fast mucilaginous but mucilaginous is like yes mucus so mucilaginous mucusy type things have a kind of a stretchy um quality to them similar to the albumin in an egg the albumin is the egg white so when people do cook vegan they have to substitute things for eggs like chia seeds and flax seeds and just to add a little extra protein a little extra omega-3s and 6s i decided to substitute the applesauce with the chia seed and flax seed now i think the water that is needed to make the chia and flax egg would substitute the liquid portion that is needed in the recipe when you use the applesauce. So I ended up using two eggs and I made one chia egg and one flax egg and they're used a little differently in baking. The chia seed is probably a little dry. You'll probably taste the um, earthiness of the seed a little bit more. Basically it's one tablespoon of chia seed to three tablespoons of water. Whereas flax seeds, it's one tablespoon flax seed, two and a half tablespoons water. So I just did three tablespoons across the board and I did two tablespoons, that is one of each, and then two eggs to make up four eggs because one cup of applesauce equals four eggs. So because I was using eggs and had to replace one cup of applesauce, I did what I just said. <laughs> so I decided to beat the eggs a little bit and then I added, oh wait, these are also gluten-free muffins. So since I didn't have gluten-free flour laying around, I thought, how do I DIY gluten-free flour? Well, that's another thing. I had about two specks worth of a gluten-free biscuit and uh, muffin mix remaining. So what it sounds like she's saying is this is nothing like Lucy's muffins at all. And I know people might make fun of me like, why do I keep literally a tablespoon of the flour in my fridge? Well, I could use it and perfectly for this recipe today. So the recipe calls for half cup flour and I probably had about one or two tablespoons of the gluten-free baking mix left over gluten-free baking biscuit mix left over and then i put a uh, one tablespoon coconut flour because coconut flour is very dry and dense and you ver use a, very little of that when you're substituting because i've done a lot of research about substituting flours and pretty much the rest i added was almond flour then it came time for the nut butter and again i love to clear out stuff in my fridge so i had a little bit of almond butter left over so i ended up using the majority of that um, but I would also say I probably put in about four heaping teaspoons of the pistachio butter and I just mixed that all together. I also used half the amount of the Enjoy Life uh, chocolate morsels because I did it by eye and that seemed to be enough and I wanted to decrease the amount of sugar in the recipe just because those have a little bit of sugar in it and it looked like enough. 
And I did add more wetness by using one teaspoon of a vanilla extract that a friend had given me that was distilled in alcohol. So that just added a little bit more wetness uh, because the dough looks pretty dry. So I ended up filling my muffin tins and uh, they were about three quarter full, but they did rise pretty nicely as you can see. And they smell like the chocolate. They smell pretty chocolatey, but I put one on a special little plate for us that we're gonna cut and taste right now. Um, what else is in here? Not much, but I'm gonna cut this so you guys can see what's inside. So because I had more egg in there, they probably rose really nicely, and I baked that for 12 minutes. I was actually trying to time this while I was in the shower, and I heard the, the timer go off, and I thought, uh-oh, I don't really wanna bake them longer than 12 minutes because the recipe was 12 to so 14 minutes. I didn't wanna overcook them. They could get a little dense, is what Lucy had said. So by the time I got to them, they had cooked for another minute. Because you know what I learned about my oven is I actually timed it. That each time it beeps to let you know, hey, hey, the timer went off, it's one minute. That's my oven. Maybe other ovens do that too, but I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Each beep you hear after the timer goes off is one minute, at least for my oven. So I know I definitely cooked these for 13 minutes. Okay, did you want more chocolate in there? Maybe we probably could have used a half cup, but I went with the quarter cup. So let's see. I feel like I need that soundtrack. Uh, that goes yummy, 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 yummy. We'll, we'll see if it's true. Now again, vanilla protein powder. So the flavor that's coming through is that pistachio. And I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like pistachio or why you wouldn't like pistachio. But it's a little different. I did put a scoop of the collagen powder as well. So I usually try to mix the protein. So it's very little of the vanilla protein powder. Definitely edible, yummy. Maybe a little dry. Definitely edible, yummy. It tastes really good with a glass of your milk choice or nut milk choice. But these are great. So she can do Lucy. Thanks, Lucy. Everybody else can give it a shot. Check out the recipe that she originally posted and in the description i'll post my alterations <laughs> and it's just about having fun in the kitchen be creative and uh, use what you got and enjoy she can do thanks again for watching she can do be sure to like comment and subscribe hit the bell to get our notifications share with a friend and see you next time